Rockstar Games publisher Takes Two Interactive is at back at it again with another DMC takedown with uh, you know a mod in GTA 5. Again, we're going to be talking about all that today in today's video and so much more and what this could mean for possibly GTA 6 and the upcoming games that Rockstar Games is might be working on. So let's get right into today's video. So yes, guys, this came out just a couple days ago, and I'm getting this information today from an article, again, from Kakatu. They are really, you know, accurate with their information. And this uh, article is coming from, again, Zach Zwinek. He covers a lot of GTA news on Kakatu. And this article was based like this. Take 2 going after another GTA modder. Racks are in Take 2. War against Grand Theft Auto mods and fan projects continue. So again, guys, this is, isn't the first time Take Two Interactive, Rockstar Games publisher and parent company, have been doing, uh, you know, DMC takedowns. This all again, the recent one before this was Rockstar, you know, taking down mods that have to do with the GTA trilogy, like GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas, and GTA. Um, Liberty City, or whatever, no, it's not Liberty City, but anyway, you get the deal, and basically why they done these DMC takedowns is they didn't want anyone, you know, having these mods because they were in the works of making the GTA trilogy, so ultimately they just took them down from the creators, and no issue that you have to, you know, take this down immediately, because again, we, uh, you know, made this game and published this game, and uh, if you don't take it down, we will get our lawyers involved and everything like this. Well, the article stated uh, by a reality modder named Luke Ross, again, he got this Take to Interactive DMC claim over his VR mods, and he basically does, you know, mods for GTA 5 and basically making you feel like you're playing GTA 5 in reality. Again, he shared all this information on his Patreon page and Twitter. Uh, basically, if you don't know what Patreon is, you probably do know what it is. Basically, you can, you know, publish his mods on there and, you know, do all the paying and stuff like that. And, you know, you're when you're paying, you're obviously giving support for his mods and other content he posts on it to show that you love enjoy them. And basically, uh, he received a notice from Patreon informing him that Take-Two had filed a copyright claim against his page and its content. Ross creates virtual reality converse conversational mods for popular games such as Grand Theft Auto V, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. All those games are published by companies that Take-Two Interactive owns. Rockstar creates GTA and 2K publishes Mafia. Ross says he's been making VR conversation mods since 2017 and this is his first time a company has sent him a legal notice of any kind so wow he's been doing this since 2017 so it's been a couple years now and he's never received a dmc takedown from take two at all and that's pretty suspicious again i think i know why take two is doing this the either you know are going to be start working on maybe a GTA 5 VR reality game. And, you know, he just can't have that because, again, they are working on it. They, you know, own the game. And he's just frustrated that they haven't done this in the past. And I understand, Ross, why they just been coming out right now. And, again, this could be because they, you know, are working on one of these games. Again, I'm not, can't clarify if they took down his Red Dead or Mafia uh, VR mods, but it looks like they are going to be working on these games in the future to bring out in a couple years from now. So again, we want to look back at this if we do get a VR um, game for, you know, GTA, Red Dead, or Mafia, and we will look back and say, hey, Ross, this is why they took them down. Again, no hard feelings, Ross, but I know how, you know, w how you're feeling at this point. And again, Katatu, of course, reached out to Patreon about this, and again, they confirmed, yes, they received a DMC takedown from Take Two, uh, directed at Luke Ross, and was currently in the process of handling that request. So, again, basically, they had to reach out to Luke Ross about taking this down, and he was in the works, and I believe right now, all these mods are taken down 
uh, because, again, he doesn't want to get in a lawsuit. So, again, that is what's going on with another DMC takedown. And regarding Take Two Interactive, it looks like they are getting ready for another earnings call coming in the future, guys. They released a public uh, release saying Take Two Interactive software to report first quarter physical year of 2023 results on Monday, August 8th, 2002. They say Take Two Interactive Software Inc. today announced that it plans to report physical results for the first quarter of its physical year 2023 that ended on June 30th. So it's ending in a couple days from now, probably right after a week or a week and a half after the GTA Online update is going to be coming out. After the market closes on Monday, August 8th, the company plans to hold a conference call to discuss its results at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So 4.30 uh, p.m. on the West Coast would be around 1.30 p.m. And if you're over in the U.K., that would be approximately around 9 to 9.30 p.m. at night. And loosely, these take tuner calls are pretty well you know driven again we get a lot of information about you know probably going to be getting some information about how you know the gta 5 online update which we are thinking is going to be coming out july 19th has been doing good in what that update is about but because of that update and how you know rockstar has shut down red dead redemption uh online content and stuff like that to you know, progress on to making GTA 6 faster. They are probably going to be talking about that. And, you know, it gives the investors time to answer questions about, you know, different things like GTA 6, GTA Online, etc. And we could get some news about GTA 6. It's It, it will be, would be rare, but again, we have like a bag 50-50 uh, result on getting some new information about the game. So again, I just wanted to let you guys know they are doing their investment call and just about, you know, next month, the first week of August. So again, if you don't want to listen to that, be sure to mark that on your calendar. So again, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Plus channel for more videos like this. My name is Puppy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.